to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. If you're new here, you're probably wondering how I got offered a quota bag in Paris at the Hermes flagship store. If you're not new here, you're probably wondering why I am talking about scoring a quota bag in Hermes at the Paris flagship store because I have said so many times that I am so against Hermes and its ridiculous journey and how I don't really, you know, get the bags and the hype around very plain and boring bags. Yet I brought home a quota bag with me from Paris and the story is a kicker. Be warned, if you are on the hunt for the ultimate quota bag from Hermes and you have tried the lottery system and you are on the journey, you're probably going to hate this story and you're probably going to hate on me. Try and be nice in the comments. This is my story and I want to share it with you and for all the hopefuls because crazy things happen. So where do I start? <laughs> It all started on a Monday afternoon. Living Lux with Meredith and I had just arrived by Eurostar into Paris and we were rushing around dropping our bags off so that we could get to her Hermes appointment at Rufebourg Saint Honoré at 3.30. We went for lunch and she was rather nervous. And I started to vlog after lunch, joking about how I was going to play let's just say the dumb one in the relationship and ask lots of questions to try and get an understanding of how this game works and why it's so difficult to just buy a handbag. And here's a little excerpt from those vlogs. Guess where we're going? To a mess. But um, <sighs> Meredith's a little bit nervous. Oh, well, now we're stuck in the middle of the road. I think we need to walk faster. Oh, red light! So we've been doing a bit of role playing over lunch. And um, I feel like we're ready. Aren't we, Meredith? Sure. Well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, Gallery Lafayette, right there. There you go. Um, so I'm feeling like I'm just going to go there and ask all the dumb questions and see if I can get me a bag. <laughs> Meredith had something to add. I said she may or may not have a friend by the end of doing that. <laughs> like, what if I get a bag and Meredith doesn't because she's too fussy? <laughs> I mean, anything could happen. <sighs> okay. Wish us luck. Found the horsey. Can you spot it? When I watched this footage back just the other day, I was laughing so hard because I was literally playing around. I had no intentions of asking for a bag. And as the story unfolds, you'll see how it happened that I was offered one. Here we are guys at the mothership. Let's go get them. So we get to Hermes. We're, um, you know, looking for a salesperson. There's no line out the front. There's a doorman and she says, you know, to the closest salesperson, I have a leather appointment, um, you know, here, here are my details. And uh, they're like, oh yeah, go and see my colleague around the corner. So we go around the corner and there's no desk, there's no person that stands out as the person we need to speak to. And we're like, what is going on here? The store is full of people. I'm like, this feels like Kmart. I mean, with nice things, but it was just chaos. I'm like, not a nice experience at all. We're inside, there's so many people here and they just keep giving us dodgy directions on where we need to go. We finally find someone who then refers us to someone else who then looks very puzzled and runs away and then comes back and says, come with me. So here we are walking up the stairs as we head to what we then discover is a private room. A private room with a couple of chairs, a desk, a beautiful bunch of flowers, some lovely pastries and, you know, acknowledgement of Meredith's let's call it status, um, with Hermes. We just had a heart attack because we thought Meredith didn't have an appointment. 
And now we've been greeted by this amazing room. Are you okay, Meredith? <laughs> a little emotional. <laughs> That was really, really lovely and kind of took the anxiety levels down a bit for Meredith because the client advisor that was assigned to look after Meredith was really lovely. But she was pretty businesslike and she looks at her email and she says, okay, I've advised that you are interested in watches, ready to wear and shoes. And uh, Mary's like, yes, and and bags. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. Anyway, should we go for a tour? So we went for a tour around the boutique and I'm starting to get this feeling like, oh, I don't know if this is maybe a leather appointment. Maybe this is not. Um, how are we going to make this into what Meredith is looking for? Because it was really important to her. So... We're looking around and it's all full winter stock. It's all very beige and typical Hermes, you know, in my view. If you look around, you can see what my kind of style is. And so we look around, we do a bit of a short list. We go back to the VIP room and the client advisor goes to search up for some sizes and bits and pieces. And Meredith and I are sitting there feeling a little bit um, on edge. Like, is what's this all about? What are these games? Okay. So the sales associate just left. She offered, she said, Meredith, my manager tells me you're interested in watches, ready to wear and shoes. <laughs> and bags. So we're playing the game at the moment. We're trying all the things. There's a lovely pink blanket out there, I saw. Oh, is there? Yes, hot pink. Oh. Yes. We need to see that. Do you want me to go grab it? So you felt like you walk around it. Yeah, I'll just take it and bring it in here. I'm, I'm in the VIP room. Um, so yeah, we're in a private room, like everything's good, but yeah, it's a game, all right. So um, don't worry, we're After winners. After about an hour, just over an hour, we had a bit of a game plan, um, which was, okay, we've picked up some other bits and pieces, which if you want to see those, go check out Meredith's channel for the unboxings. Um, can we now, given that we're approaching closing time, which was half past six, can we now start to talk about handbags? Oh yes, of course, what are you interested in? And of course, Meredith had done a lot, a lot of research in terms of what she was looking for because she has a number of Hermes handbags and you know, this was her opportunity to be really specific about what she liked and not have the really long waiting period that you have here in Australia. And so she went through her wish list, her mood board, the colors, the types of bags that she was interested in. And then she was asked about non-quota bags. And what we discovered, which is really interesting, is that the profiles aren't linked across the world. And the reason for that is so that your access to quota bags is not limited. So um, even if you had already received a quota bag at your home store, if your profile was linked, you wouldn't be able to get one. Um, or can you get two a year? I don't know. But yeah, it would limit that. So they're not linked. So. That's a good thing, right? So she asked about non-quota bags and Meredith, you know, went forward and told her what she would be interested in that respect too. So potentially two handbags for Meredith. And then she turned to me. Development. We just got to talking about bags, finally. We're an hour in. Because uh, Meredith's got a little pile over there. <laughs> anyway. She said to me, what bags do you want to see? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> if she gets a bag, she owes me dinner. <laughs> if you get a bag, you owe me dinner. <laughs> I have been working my chops off, charming this woman to get to this point. Uh, I've showed zero interest in anything. I asked about a pair of lilac Iran sandals. She bought up a pair of like dark purple velvet and I was like, no, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm here to support my friend. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here for anything. She turns to me and she says, so what bags are you interested in? And my literal response was, uh, um, uh, well, uh, I, um, I thought that this was Meredith's appointment. She goes, yes, yes, it is Meredith's appointment. 
usually we wouldn't offer a guest the opportunity but in this case and I'm like okay um and I'm like think Dale think 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 and all that came to mind I'm like oh those little um and Meredith will verify this those little the little mini crossbody bags that like a really you know dinky what is it like a mini Kelly those ones yeah and she goes yes yes a mini Kelly and I said oh well one of those in like a, a super cute color um like a pretty girly color I don't know the colors I don't really know the leathers but yeah a pretty girly bag because in my mind I'm thinking that'd be the most likely thing that I might wear and you know I know there's a high demand for those and so I could always you know sell it but I my, my brain was literally numb so then she asks me about what non-quota bags I would be interested in and I'm like oh god um I'm like well uh, so here's the thing like I'm only really aware of the quota bags through social media you know, in Australia, we don't see a lot of Hermes and uh, <laughs> I'm duh, I don't, help me out here, Meredith. And Meredith was wearing her gypsy air in the mini size and this cute baby pink. And I'm like, oh yeah, something like that would be cute. Like in a, you know, nice um, pastel girly color. But yeah, nothing else really and again my brain wasn't working I could have been asking about bags that Meredith would like so that I could buy it and she could have it but I didn't even think I was just you know gobsmacked so sometime later she comes into the room with this towering you know this tower of orange boxes and she kind of walks in and she places them all down on the desk and she starts with a fairly large box for Meredith she says this is what I have for you and she presents it to Meredith Meredith opens the box and she's ecstatic and really happy and you know I'll let her tell that story but there's no little boxes and I'm like oh well you know no worries like I tried I asked but there is a medium-sized box and I'm like oh god I hope she hasn't got me an actual Kelly like <laughs> This will be, this will be embarrassing. <laughs> and um, she opens the box and she says, we didn't have any mini Kellys, but I think that I have picked a very special piece for you. I think it is perfect for you based on what you've told me that you love and your lifestyle and what have you. And I'm like, okay okay like I really was working hard for you Meredith here building the relationship and she opens the box and she puts in front of me I just got offered a Birkin 25 30 it's a 30 I don't even freaking know what leather it is it's a togo it's togo leather seriously when I first saw it I was like mm, because it was all buttoned up and everything so I asked her to undo it for me. I'm like, yeah, Meredith's like, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> it's, I'm sitting here looking at it like a television. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Buy it and keep it. Buy it and flip it. Reject. Vote here. So yeah, I got offered a Birkin bag in Paris at the flagship store <laughs> after I took the absolute mickey out of the whole process and was joking around about being offered a bag and Meredith not being offered a bag and look what happened. I was so gobsmacked. Uh, I could not think straight. I was like, I feel like I'm supposed to love this, but I'm not feeling it. I feel a bit sick, actually. I was texting the London chat group that we'd all met up with on the weekend prior going, oh my God, you'll never believe it. I'd sent little voice videos to them, voice videos, voice memos to them going, you will never believe it. This is what's happened. They're like, oh my God, it's a no brainer. You've got to buy it. You've got to buy it. They were doing market research on it to give me some comfort that if I decided that I didn't like it and I wanted to sell it later on, how much it was going for. And Meredith's like, I can't believe that you're considering this. Like you're sitting there considering it because the, the client advisor had left the room. And I'm like, 
oh, like, I, I never wanted this, like, this is crazy. Um, but it was all buttoned up and I didn't like it. I didn't like it being all buttoned up. And so I asked the client advisor if she could open it up and make it look a bit more casual to kind of fit with my style and that felt stuff. I hate that stuff. I hate... I hate bags being presented that way. They just look so stuffy and like dated. Anyway, once we opened it all up and had a look at it and I started playing around, I was like, okay, I see you. I see what you're doing to me. And I can't deny hype was involved and the, the situation was involved and whatever. And after a lot of consideration and a lot of encouragement from my dear friend Meredith, and my friends on the London chat group, particularly Deb from Wild Unfiltered. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I um, I swiped my card and I bought it. I bought it. Ah, uh, guys, guys. I just bought a Birkin. <laughs> what did you get? I also got a Birkin. <laughs> Stay tuned. We had them sent to our hotel and as we walked back to our hotel in absolute dismay despair <laughs> i came across gary <laughs> gary what do you think about the fact i just bought a birkin gary gary don't turn your back on me gary look if you don't know who gary is you're new to my channel okay i have a little um, little pigeon you can probably see him just poking up over there I have the JW Anderson pigeon bag and he's kind of featured in all of my holiday vlogs I went up to a homeless woman on the Champs Elysees I gave her 20 euro and told her to go and you know have a lovely dinner and take care of herself and she was speaking to me in French I don't think she understood me I didn't understand her she grabbed my hand she's like thank you thank you thank you thank you and I'm like Okay, it was just like an instinctual, like, I have to rectify the karma in my world. <laughs> and then, literally, um, we were in the Galleries Lafayette, just, you know, on the Champs-Élysées, which is a really ordinary, don't go there, don't recommend. And my dog that passed away while I was on holidays, his doppelganger was there, and it just shocked me, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I am so overwhelmed at what's happened this afternoon. We got back to the hotel, we just slumped onto the couch, had a shower, put some clothes on and just wandered down the street, ended up at Chez Francis for this amazing champagne, chill dinner, watching the sparkles of the Eiffel Tower. It was magic. Magic. So, thanks to Meredith for having me tag along. I think Meredith's thanking me for doing the hard work and building a relationship. Um, it was an amazing trip. If you want to see the unboxing, subscribe um, because what I got, I think, is definitely my style. Whether or not it's something that I um, I find fits for me post Paris, post hype, um, is yet to be seen. But at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty ecstatic. So I didn't ask for a Birkin. I had no history with Hermes. I was not on the journey and I was accompanying a friend to an appointment. So here's my takeaways. You don't need to know a lot about the brand when you go into Paris. In fact, the more curious and respectful you are in asking questions to understand the brand, the colors, the pieces, you're probably going to build a better relationship with your sales associate, in my experience. Um, the second part is maybe don't take your husband's ladies, take your friends because you can get double the loot. I don't know if we were just, you know, um, lucky or we, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, but I would say take a friend, take a friend and don't push too hard. I feel like you have to, you have to play. Um, and you know, I didn't play, Meredith played, but I got the benefits of her playing, so thanks Meredith. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, um, take your passport and your credit card. <laughs> um, come back for the unboxing. I really would love to share with you what I was able to pick up, what I said yes to. Um, by do that by subscribing to my channel so you're notified of when my videos are up. Give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think of my experience in the comments section down below. 
making this video it was going to be a tough one because I knew I'd be annoying or pissing off a lot of people and no doubt I probably have but um yeah so be it I'm sorry if you're offended in any way by the fact that I got it got struck lucky got lucky um but I did and I'm yeah I'm pretty happy about it <laughs> so um see you for the unboxing Meredith, yeah. seriously, can you get a grip on yourself? I mean, really? some of this is yours, Dale. <laughs>